ChatGPT has recently released ChatGPT 4.0 or 4.0, and today we're gonna to take a look at what kind of impact it's gonna have on your web design process. Can it write your content? Can it scan websites? Can it come up with some good ideas for you? We're gonna try a bunch of different stuff and test it out for the first time right now. All right, the first task I want this new chat GPT 4.0 to do is to rewrite a project proposal for me. I write a lot of project proposals and I think it would be helpful if I could just upload the last PDF and maybe have it change a few things to maybe like rewrite all the stuff for me, price and maybe even some of the things we're going to do within the process and change the name, remove my contact information. Um, so I actually have a previous proposal um, that has like an overview of the project, but this was for like a tattoo portfolio website I was gonna do for a client. It has a really low price of like around five grand and it has some terms and conditions. Um, so what I think I wanna do is I'll take this PDF that I actually have, I'm just gonna upload it and drop it in ChatGPT and let's see if we can ask it to, uh, to rewrite this proposal for a new client called True Citrus. What else are we gonna tell it? Um, uh, change the price to like 20 grand and remove my contact information. Also add uh, a focus on SEO as a service offered, which was not offered in the original proposal. Okay, so uh, it's a different client, it's a different price, um, it's gonna remove certain information for me and it's gonna add in certain offerings and it's gonna read the PDF to do this. Let's see, boom, it goes ahead and it starts rewriting with the new name of the client and uh, we got contact area boom look we just mentioned seo services right there which is super helpful and it changed the price it added seo in right there which wasn't there before it changed the price to 20 grand and again it mentioned seo again um, and it removed my contact information from it completely okay wow that's pretty amazing so now i don't have to spend the time rewriting proposals um i could just maybe even take this and then just hit the share link right here and share this proposal or i could do the hard work of pulling the text out and then just pasting it into my previous proposal exporting a new version and there you go it's able to write some proposal stuff for me the next thing that i would want gpt 4.0 to do is to actually read websites and scan copy bring it down change that copy give me context maybe even a sitemap so I can get a little bit of understanding for a new client. Uh, so this is a website that I'm gonna be working on soon. So that's hawaiitattooartist.com. And uh, it's got some stuff on it, it's got some videos, it's got a little bit of testimonials, but not a lot of copies. So I'm gonna ask it to actually, ChatGBT, I'm gonna close this up and we'll just work right here and say, um, I like to say please to ChatGPT. So why don't we say, Please scan this website and list out all content while making suggestions for new SEO rich content that would improve the website. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's grabbing stuff from the home page, the about, service gallery, contact. Okay, it's gonna give us some SEO rich suggestions. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we have like a blog section, okay? Uh, and we could maybe tell it also, uh, also on the home page, I need some overcoming objection statements in the style of Donald Miller to encourage potential clients to book an appointment okay let's try that and see what kind of copy it gives us there i mean so far so good okay it's going to give us a bunch of overcoming objection statements which if you don't know what those are it's like the way that we actually address our customer or our users concerns before they address them right so we would say like hey if you're concerned about pain and discomfort like 
here you go. We're going to tell you about it. Or if you're concerned about cleanliness and safety or quality and satisfaction or regretting your tattoo decision or the cost and value. So that's interesting. That's a section uh, that we haven't had before. It did make some suggestions up here. Custom tattoos. Why best tattoo? Uh, okay. For SEO. Well, this is going to be interesting. For SEO purposes, can you give me a meta title description keywords for the home page okay this is a lot of stuff like that i would end up doing and like manually doing and now it's giving me pretty good stuff actually <laughs> okay so 40 can actually read websites get context of that website and give you suggestions on how to improve that content seo copy and really kind of add to it. So that's a huge part of the website design process that I could probably lean on 4.0 or 4.0 for from now on. Okay, I guess the next thing I'd love to ask GPT 4.0 is if it can recommend some visual styles, color palettes, maybe even imagery to go into this website. A lot of times I would go to other tools for that, but I've gone ahead and already <laughs> asked it if it can design some styles for this website. And this is instantly what it came back with. It says, here's the generated website design concept uh, for your tattoo artist website. It features tropical theme, palm trees, ocean waves, vibrant colors, and sections for an artist introduction, portfolio, and gallery. And then what we have, which I don't think was in the previous versions of GPT, was uh, highlight the area and describe changes in the chat. So why don't I click that? uh okay oh okay we're able to highlight like this and do something like this edit selection and oh we get this little edit selection thing down here we're gonna say this should be the start to the photo gallery of his tattoo portfolio is that gonna be able to fill that with something let's see it's reworking right now okay so kind of interesting and I think that I just noticed that as it was like designing, I think that's supposed to be a tattoo machine, which if you don't know about tattoos, it would be like a needle like kind of component to it. It does kind of look like a hypodermic needle on the beach, which is kind of interesting. Click on the image for a closer look. I'm trying to click on the image for a closer look. It was supposed to put like portfolio down here, but it didn't. But again, yeah, look at that. This looks kind of like a tattoo machine. These look kind of like ink vials. So I, I, I definitely, okay. Uh, let's ask it another question. Let's say we did really like this and we want to go with it. Can you extract the color palette from this design and give me the hex codes? Can it do that? I don't know. Can it analyze its own image and give me the information? Look at this. It's giving us the different hex codes. This crazy code that it's, smacking in there is interesting okay these colors primarily include dark shades giving a sleek and modern aesthetic to the design interesting i didn't think that we asked that of you okay um and we got all of our hex codes right there actually i mean i don't know if these are the right hex codes but it gave me some kind of hex codes let's do one more and say can you generate some images for the value proposition sections about pricing safety and booking using the same design style let's see if it can do that it's generating new images now and hopefully it's going to give us some things that we can actually use for the value prop sections obviously like ai still has a really really hard time holy cow what did it give to us it's cut off that's for sure but maybe we could expand that generated design for the value proposition sections sure if we want to go real stylized and make it look like a hawaiian postcard this actually listen this is not going to be the style that i do the website in but it is kind of interesting and notice like it put pricing safety and booking i was just about to say and comment about what a hard time chat gpt and all ai tools have in spelling things like that's supposed to say hawaii it says hammy which <laughs> can we all just stop and laugh at the fact that it says hammy um and it says mom not home and turation so you know i like i definitely want to sign up for some booting vorgathon <laughs> but it has a hard time spelling but in this case it actually did decent on these big titles of like safety booking and pricing it's probably because we didn't tell it what else to say and it it's i mean 
Do these two styles go together? Not really, but kind of. So could I use them? Maybe, possibly, if I want to click the button and shot uh. <laughs> so, you know, let's give imagery a meh right now. I'll probably still lean on other tools, but it can do some interesting things. So here's my final thought on ChatGPT 4.0 for web designers. I think it could be very, very helpful to upload a bunch of different attachments like imagery and inspiration, PDFs, copy documents, all into one ChatGPT thread for your client, all their different brand assets, and start to give it an idea of what you are working with. What's the context of the project? It's seems pretty helpful for spitting out email responses and rebuilding proposals and contracts for your clients, which could save you a ton of time if you don't have an already established process or workflow for that. I do think it is pretty good at now reading the copy and the content from websites, scraping that copy, suggesting copy, generating new and interesting kind of ideas, especially if you've uploaded documentation into it already that have to do with the company's core values or what the goals are and success metrics of the website so that could be very helpful where it is still lacking obviously is in generating imagery i would still recommend something like mid journey for generating imagery for your website projects but when it comes to words i think you kind of can't beat it right now so that's my recommendation of chat gpt and i'm sticking to it thanks a lot for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more content comes out and if you have any questions leave those down in the comments and i'll get back to them as soon as i can i'd love to talk to you about ChatGPT and other AI tools, how you're using them in your web design business, let me know. Let's start a conversation. And if you're looking for more content, definitely check out this video or this video, and we'll see you in the next one.